Hello family. Today, for family time, we will talk about listening. Let's lead off the discussion with James 1 verse 19. It says, lead with your ears, follow up with your tongue, let anger straggle along in the rear. This is from the Message Bible. I believe this text is reminding us that there are helpful and unhelpful ways of listening. So good news or bad news, which do you want first? Okay, give me the bad news first. So let's talk about unhelpful listening habits. When you interrupt me, I feel frustrated. When you look away, I feel unimportant. When you ignore me, I feel rejected. When you give me unasked for advice, I feel small. You see, the unspoken questions and concerns of many people are, do you really care about me? Are you able to understand what I am feeling now? Can you empathize with me? Are you willing and able to support me when I am struggling? Can I depend on you? All of that is wrapped up in my listening to you? Yes. Wow. Yes, it is. So it's so important to listen well. Okay, can I get some good news? What happens when we practice helpful listening? When you give me eye contact, and time to talk, I feel special. Mm. I'll do that. When you recognize and accept my feelings, I feel you care. When you show you understand, I feel valued. When you give me an open space to talk freely, you give me an amazing gift. Remember, lead with your ears, follow with your tongue. I believe we should Listen humbly, not judgmentally. Because if we do, we will recognize and reward other people for the contributions they make. Please understand that people, other people, your loved ones are doing the best they can in very difficult circumstances. So, affirm them for what they are doing. What do you do if the speaker is abusive or hurtful? Here are two suggestions. Number one, respond in a thoughtful way, not in an emotional way. A calm response may calm the person. Number two, you may have to have set time outs. You can return to the discussion when tempers are cooled. You have the right to set clear boundaries. You have the right to end the conversation. You can say, I don't like the way you speak to me. If you choose to continue talking like this, I may have to end the conversation. Get it. Which means we can always return to the conversation. Yes. When tempers are cool, when we are calm. Right. Here are some helpful listening tips. Face the person and maintain eye contact. Okay. Maintain an open posture. Don't cross your arms or your legs. Nod your head. Lean forward. Mm -hmm. This indicates that you are showing interest. Without interrupting, ask questions or paraphrase to clarify what you don't understand. Let's go a little bit more into this. Ask questions that invite more information and ideas. This shows that you have thought about their story. It also shows that their story is important to you and you want to hear more. Respond by summarizing what they said. So, you're saying that. And then what happened? This shows how well you are listening. Finally, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, 
kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3, verse 12. I really love that text. It's a beautiful text. This is God's calling for us as we listen to others and become channels of his love into people's lives. Thank you so much for listening.